Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled song section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This song patch has piano, pads, organ, and bass all triggered in the left hand range which stretches from here up to here. There is a piano sound from this note all the way up the rest of the keys. You'll be playing mostly chords in the right hand but there is also a synth sound that you'll play up high for some lead parts. That will come in when the song section control is at two thirds or above, and that starts on this note up the rest of the keys. There is also a chromatic chord played in this song that will be on this note. So this note is not in the key, but it will trigger a chord. Therefore, all the notes needed for that chord are also available to play in the right hand. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, down verse, and down chorus. At one third will be the refrain, medium verse, down bridge, down post chorus, and interlude. At two thirds will be the medium chorus, medium bridge, and medium post chorus and all the way up will be the big chorus and the big post chorus. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. I like to play specific notes with my right hand to sound most like the recording. Here's what I like to play. Here it is with the left hand too. You can feel free to voice your chords in other ways if you'd like, because keep in mind there's a piano sound from this note up the rest of the keys. For the down verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. And for this part, I like to just play the single specific notes that we did in the intro, like this. Now I do like to add some short riffs here and there. For example, leading into the first note, I like to play this. And then I'll add some arpeggiations and additional improvisations during some other chords as well. So you can feel free to do this too. For the medium verse, you'll have the song section control at one third and you'll play everything the same way.
For the down chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. Here's how I like to voice these chords. For the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at two thirds, and you'll play everything the same way. I just like to add in additional riffs just to build this part and fill more space. For the big chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way up, and you'll play everything the same way. At the very end of the song, you'll play another down chorus. For this one, you'll bring the song section control all the way back down, play octaves in your left hand and simple chords in your right hand. And following this chorus, you'll play a tag, which is just the last line repeated two more times. For the refrain, you'll have the song section control at one third. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. Here's what I like to play. The so-called melody line for this section is this part. This is what the vocals are doing on top of the instrumental part. So you want to make sure that this part sticks out. In order to do this, it's smart to have those notes be the highest note that you play or the only note you play in your right hand. You can also bump it up an octave and play it up here like this. This refrain comes back later in the song. The next time you play the refrain is directly before the bridge. And for this one, you'll again have the song section control at one third. Play octaves in your left hand, chords in your right hand. And this one is two times as long. Then the refrain comes back again later in the song. For both these times, you'll play everything the same way. Just be sure to watch for all these parts in the demo video. For the down bridge, you'll have the song section control at one third. Play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. Here's how I like to voice all these chords. Halfway through the bridge, I like to bring my right hand chords up higher to show that this part is different and it's building. For this part, I like to voice the chords like this. Then for the last two lines of the bridge, you'll increase your song section control to two thirds, play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. Now this is where you'll play that chromatic chord that we talked about during the overview of the song. Here's how I like to voice this chord. Here it is in context of the song.
just be sure to watch for this in the demo. For the post chorus, you'll have the song section control at one third to start. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. Now this is another part where you'll be playing that melody line with your right hand that sounds like this. So I like to keep my right hand notes down in this range for this part. Then for the medium post chorus, you'll increase the song section control to two thirds. Play octaves in your left hand, and you can continue playing chords in your right hand if you wish, but I like to make use of this synth sound up high by playing that melody line in octaves like this. And then I like to add the second part to it to match the melody line of the vocals. and it just changes that ending note. So you'll play this for the medium post chorus, and then for the big post chorus, you'll increase the song section control all the way up, continue playing that lead line in your right hand and octaves in your left hand. Now the chords do change for this part as well, so just be sure to pay attention to that. And be sure to watch the full demo video to see all of these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.